Well, hello, it's John, and welcome to my channel. And I'm out on me Royal Enfield meet here. And uh, it's the first ride I've had this year. Uh, the weather over here has been so wet, so cold, that I've just not bothered. But uh, even though it's raining today, it's nice and warm. And I'm on my way to Squire's Cafe for a change. And I'm meeting someone there who wants to show me his new bike. All will be revealed later. Whoa, there's some mud on these roads. Well, it just forecasts uh, a bit of a shower and then uh, this afternoon it's going to be all right, I believe. Well, seeing as how the road's all muddy, uh, I think I may go another way, but never mind. And I'm right looking forward to meeting my friend. So uh, we'll have a good chin wag and a catch up. God, I hate this bit of road. It is shocking. Bike moves about all over. Right, we'll go down this way. Well, I watched a video on about roads, um, the old year motorcyclist, and <laughs> he went down some roads I have never seen anything as shocking in my life. There were holes nine inch deep, and uh, he was having a right justifiable moan about it. I'm not kidding you. Talk about dangerous. Now, It'd be bad enough on motorbike, but I'm a cyclist as well. Imagine hitting one of them. It'd throw you off straight in front of a car or something. Not be good. And uh, we're going about roads around this area now. In the small town I live in, yes, there are potholes, but you get out on these roads, sparring for that, leading up to the roundabout, and uh, they're not too bad, to be honest. I think, I think you get, quite wrongly, you get accustomed to it, and um, so you'd always look on the lookout for holes. But as I say, the ones he was showing were shocking. No indicator on. I'm going to crack my visor a bit so there'll be a bit of wind noise, I'm sorry about that. Um, I just can't see and I ain't got a pin lock. Must be all excitement in this helmet we've been out on bike. <laughs> So 
so while I haven't been uh, doing uh, videos as such, uh, at the bottom of my garden's a railway line, and um, there's a, a, a depot there where look at that kite. A depot uh, where all the diesel go get repaired, serviced, and pack up. So. I did a couple of uh, YouTube shorts, flipping it, got about 5,000 views. So I thought, well, this is easy. And so I, uh, I did like a week's worth. Whoa, my viewing shot up. And uh, so now I've, I've done YouTube shorts for a month. And believe me, it don't take a lot of doing. And uh, I'm getting regular views of five and six thousand views. But more importantly, my subscribers are going up. I'm getting uh, up to forty thousand views a month and sixty three subscribers a month. For, eh? uh, so, in the background, in case you're all wondering you're more interested in motorbikes, that's why I'm doing it, you don't have to watch them. But there's plenty of people out there who are interested, I can tell you. So, uh, that's, that's why you're seeing loads of YouTube shorts from me. So I'm waiting for my mate to come and it looks like this could be him in his bright yellow night of the road clothing <laughs> And you guessed it You know who this is What's that on his new motorbike? It's got a Lexi Moto 125. And I'll tell you why later. Or I'll get Wadda to tell you. It's still got his meat here by the way. And here we have my mate was a and is on a new bike. He's still got Douglas, but he's got this one as well. And it is a Lex Moto 125. Michigan. And it's a lovely little bike, it's like being sat on a push bike. Right, was it? <laughs> what I'd really like to know is why have you bought this? I'm embracing my old age. The <laughs> uh, reasons I've brought, bought it is last year I had a really, really bad year. Personal problems, which uh, my friends know about, but I won't go into in detail. I won't share it with the public. Um, and I wanted. Uh, I was sat in the house one day feeling depressed and I thought I'll go and buy myself a little 125 motorbike and I went and saw this and fell in love with it and bought it and uh, ever since I've had it I've had a smile on my face. Uh, and also I've got a motorbike trailer haven't I John? You have. And this is nice and light to get on and off that. And what do you tow the motorbike trailer with? My van, my little diesel van. And what's your van like? I've got a Peugeot Bipper uh, 1.3 diesel van and that's got a little, I've converted it into a little camper so I can take it, take the bike away, sleep in the van and do things like that with it. But the main reason I bought a little bike is I needed to cheer myself up and uh, it's done that and uh, I love it, so I'm enjoying it. And 
It's easy to get on trailer. Easy to get on trailer. It's it weighs about 135 kilograms wet wet. Runs on fresh air because it's only a 125. Comfortable. The 55 mile an hour flat out, but I'm not bothered. It's enough for me. Uh, yeah, happy days. <laughs> Well, it is, and you look brilliant on it as well, was it? John, I look brilliant on everything. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You're a supermodel. I am. <laughs> right, thanks for that, was it? No problem. And I'm sure people on my channel will be glad to see you again as well. Thank you very much. No problem. Take care, folks. I'll follow you if you want. Well, I've got to say, it's been lovely seeing Wazza again on his new bike. Well, new to him. Not to mention nice dinner we had. Not bad, these squires. And uh, I took was around to speed style shop, the motorcycle shop that's there, and he's bought some cracking gloves. Um, like semi winter gloves go over his jacket, stop getting a draft up, get up your jacket. So uh, he did well, did lad. Nice shop is that if you ever go to Squires. Anyway, time, time to go home. So I'm just going to follow Wazza for a bit, and um, go home. Just got to watch it for all this mud on the road. Well, to say it was his bike to 125, it, it fits him like a glove, doesn't it? <laughs> Not a lot smaller than me, do you?
as you were saying he's got uh, a van he's converted uh, into a bit of a camper van and uh, it can tow it can get his trailer on and it can manage that little one two five uh, to get it on the trailer uh, the meteor were just a little bit heavy for him but we're, we're all getting no younger and uh, it'd be a shoot off with his van and uh, ride about on the park up somewhere nice and ride about and camp out night in van sounds good to me And to be honest, in these uh, poor riding conditions uh, I'm following Wazir here and speed is doing it, it's not too slow at all, just right for me. <laughs> 